Greetings everyone and welcome to the Smalls Archive. Basically this is all my old videos that I had on my first channel and then my current channel back when I was doing sneaker videos and most of the time I really don't know what I'm talking about but just roll along with it. After my channel became what it is today I stopped doing sneaker reviews and took them all down and never intended for anyone to ever see these again. However after many months of thinking about it I've decided to re-release these videos in a re-edited form that's much better than the original videos I posted. Stuff like my intro and outro as well as my watermark are changed and parts that I feel pace up the video are also altered. I did these DHK cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes only and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. This intro will be on each archive video so just to warn people in case they stumble across this and think it's a brand new video from me. But anyways, enjoy these crappy terrible videos that get slightly better over time. Well that's out of frame slightly but uh, we have another parcel to have a look at. Now I actually don't know what this is. I know it's shoes, that's one thing, but I don't know what's actually inside of it. I don't know if it's something from iOffer, something from Wish. I don't think it's anything from DHgate. No, it's not something from DHgate. It's something from Wish or iOffer. So let's have a look and see what we have. The customs declaration says that it's shoes Logan 902 FZ1 45 black and white color, black and white size 45. I think I might know what it could be, but let's just have a look so feeling them they're a little sort of on the heavy side <laughs> oh i'm cackling like an old woman oh golly oh wow <laughs> that's that done what are these um okay these are the man 550s <laughs> God, what's, what's the writing around them? Gug, gug, brr. In, oh, to, oh, that's probably Latin or something. Where, lachin, as, was, on, That's fantastic. I'm glad we understand what we're talking about here. Anyways, these were purchased off Wish for $22, I think. I seen these and they're initially like $35 or something like that. But I went to some deal thing, majiggy in Wish and got them for like, yeah, $22.15, I think. And then like $8 postage. So about 30 bucks total for these. But I got them because it's a mishmash of two designs. It's got a Balenciaga Speed Trainer sole that's got writing on it with a prime knit or just a knit upper with the Yeezy stripe with Man 550 on it. That's just quite bizarre. And so I had to get them and they took eight days to arrive from China because they sent it express. Inside the shoe there is this amount of tissue paper because this is going to protect it in every way possible. Let's uh... Have a look at this tag here. This tag says 45. That was a uh, build up there, wasn't it? Let's have a look at this sole. Oh God, look at the sole. Look at that insole. Look, that side's not too bad, but that side, it's like got bits of dust and dirt and I don't know. Doesn't look too healthy. Anyways, inside of the shoe is the usual stitching sort of stuff. You can see it there, but there's no other tags or anything like that. This is just literally a generic shoe. That's... <laughs> That's it. And looking at the other one as well, do we have 45? We have 45, but the tag is actually slightly shorter. More writing on it. If you want to fill up something with a whole bunch of random nonsense text, I think that's part of it. I don't know what a pot of coots peeping fronds is, but leave it to the imagination, I guess. So the quality of this is almost like my Balenciaga sock trainers, which are here. And as you can see, the soles are pretty much almost identical. See, not a knockoff, I promise. This is a replica or slash knockoff of a real product, and then this is a mishmash of Yeezy and Balenciagas into one. Honestly though, construction-wise, from my sock trainer Balenciagas to these, it's actually not that much of a difference. It feels quite solid. The sole definitely feels like straight off one of these, honestly. It's exactly the same thing, same material. Oh be slightly different. Bit of glue marks just there. What I plan on doing is trying to find the absolute worst pair of Yeezys I can find. Now, although this doesn't really count as a Yeezy shoe, perhaps, maybe if Kanye West pitched his version to Balenciaga about a pair of Yeezys for them to make, and this is what they came up with, maybe that could be the case. I don't know, but I want to find the worst pair of Yeezys. And we all remember these god-awful things. I can't believe I thought these were like super cool when I first got them. But then I realized how wrong I was. I plan on revisiting these one day. I just don't know when. But anyways, we all remember these. Then coming to this is like a huge step. It's just amazing. I just think they're quite unique and quite funny, to be fairly honest. Have to try them on and see how they fit and see how they feel. But I'm going to say that they're pretty much going to be exactly the same as these, just with the low-cut 
sock like that. There you go. They're pretty much the same now. Ta-da. Get a look at that Yeezy stripe there. Looking quite nice, but just man 550. I know they've had Yeezy 500s, but this is a step up. As I said, Kanye West went to Balenciaga and went, hey, make me a pair of Yeezys, your style. And they've went, here you go. And we got a little pull tab there too. And I'm glad these came though. As I said, eight days from China, it's just ridiculous. There's not much to really say about these. I've probably rambled on long enough. Anyways, I'm going to have to put these on and see how they feel and all that stuff. Anyways, here's the conclusion and on foot section. So have a look at that and we'll be back. So these shoes turn out to actually be very comfortable. As silly as they may look, they literally feel like I'm wearing the Balenciaga Speed Trainers, except just a low cut version. They grip very well, the cushioning inside isn't too bad at all, and my foot doesn't move around too much in these, which is quite good. As for the price of $30, well, uh, we all got a good laugh out of them, and just the whole Yeezy and Balenciaga mashup was just very bizarre. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting the outcome from these shoes, but there you go. Also, I was meant to film in daylight, except I kind of fell asleep and woke up at night, so it filled in my kitchen, so I hope that's okay. So there you go. As I said, surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> You'll see that it actually says that the regular retail price of these is like 1,100 and something, and that they're marked down to 28. Good going, Wish. Good going. But otherwise, no much else to say about these. They're Yeezy Lagers. Balenciesis, I don't know, make a name for them please. So anyways, enough rambling, that's these ones done. That is all from me, thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like, if not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.